Hello everybody, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these uh, video book reviews so um, I thought I'd start off with a book that I have just read called Iceberg Slim, uh, called Pimp, The Story of My Life well not my life but his life so it's called Pimp uh, by a guy called Iceberg Slim uh, and that Iceberg Slim is the name of the the main chap here who also goes by the name of uh, Robert Beck. So Robert Beck was uh, somebody born in the sort of 1930s, 1920s, 1930s, and he became a pimp, um, uh, which is basically, you know, we all know what a pimp is. He basically uh, has a stable of women um, and he, uh makes money off their prostitution so uh, quite a few things we think why would i want to read a book about a guy who basically makes his living as a pimp well there's a few things well, firstly this was a book that was mentioned by a guy called dave Chappelle on one of his programs it was also a book that was mentioned to me by quite a few other guys who said that this was a good book um, so I thought, okay, let's 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 try it out. And as you can see, um, the picture of him, he's the kind of archetypal pimp, kind of he has an archetypal kind of pimp image, which has been copied all the way down through popular culture, like you know, ice. It was it, um, you know, uh, huggy bear and all that kind of thing. This is basically, he, he's basically the guy that started it off, um, as in the, the the image, the look. Um, it's got a forward, it's not a huge book, uh, and it's got a forward by a guy called Irvin Welsh, which is the guy that did train spotting or wrote train spotting. Um, and I liked uh, train spotting as a film, I thought it was really original, it was different. And so the fact that he really recommended this, I thought, well, okay, there must be something in it. So, uh, in fact, what he said was literally without this book, there would have been no train spotting. So that was a kind of background of why I decided I was going to read this book. Um, um, and what did I actually think of the book? Okay, so this is a difficult one. I didn't really enjoy reading this. I find it quite difficult to get through um, in the sense that it was quite depressing reading and the language that is used, a lot of it, the slang is kind of like 1930s, 40s slang. So, you know, money is called scratch and, you know, and yeah, he uses the word bitch a lot and things like that. And that literally, and I think that's before we even, in the modern usage of bitch, he literally talks about women in that way. Um, what I've noticed since I read this book, I looked up a couple of things online, and people have almost seen it as a kind of um, personal development type of book about relations between men and women. I, I don't know how they got that idea because I didn't feel that that's what this book was about. Um, like I said, I found it quite depressing. It was quite, um, it was about exploit, for me it was about the exploitation of women in the most uh, brutal way that you could. And the more I think about it, the more it was about, it wasn't like relations between men and women. It's about relations between men who want to exploit and women who actually are desperate for, um, who are actually desperate, basically. Uh, they're either uh, really lacking in love or they're lacking in something and their self-esteem is at a kind of uh, low level and it's completely, completely exploited by the pimp uh, who lives off their earnings, who literally does not care about them. And well, that's one of the great things about this um, book in terms of the writing in that he is very, very cl clear and brutal about what he does and why he does it. And he doesn't make any bones about that. He doesn't, um, he doesn't, um, um, kind of cover that up at all 
he uses women and basically abuses women and he admits it um, and probably at the bottom of it all he probably hates his mother the other thing that I thought was really interesting about this was is that you're talking about the African American community in the United States and this is a community I spoke Slim was probably maybe I don't know maybe two generations or maybe one generation from somebody who was actually owned as a slave and um, he, he doesn't really go into it in the depth that I wanted but there is a direct relationship between the status of the pimp in other words using women for their bodies and the slave trade so one of them one of the people said was this was like a kind of step up from the plantation but at least uh, it was within the black community they were the money was circulating there it's a it's a it's a it's, it's kind of depressing way of looking at it that those are the kind of only chances you might have but that's the way it is and at that time um later on the one of the redeeming features of iceberg slim is that he does turn his back on that kind of life and he realizes that it's been a waste of his um of his intellect of his knowledge and he he says that look if he'd spent that time uh the amount of time that he he spent becoming learning how learning how to become a pimp he could have been a lawyer could have been a doctor could have been anything else um and there is a point in the in the forward in, in the introduction where uh, iceberg Slim tried, slim tried to get involved uh, more heavily with the black panthers which was kind of civil rights group um and he was kind of rejected by them because they felt that he was exploiting his own people basically and he'd exploited his own people which is a bit of a shame because he probably he feels that he didn't have many other chances and that he also changed to be more of an educator in terms of the writing actually it, it is it, it, it's probably pretty good but it was written in 1969 don't forget um, and I found it quite hard to understand a lot of the terms that were used until I looked at the pack and I realized that there was actually a glossary of terms so I mean some of the things are like for example uh, a poke is a wallet or bankroll prat is to pretend rejection to increase desire um, a roller is a policeman usually a plain clothes um, uh, square up is to get out of the life of prostitution um, I mean some of them uh, mukti mucks a contemptuous term applied to the rich and privileged by the poor and underprivileged uh, Jasper is a lesbian um, hog is a Cadillac to croak is to kill um, anyway there's a whole load of it's good to look at the glossary at the, at the end first because I didn't realise that until I got to the end um, yeah what can I say about this book it's it, it, I suppose it is brutal it is warts and all so it is telling you about the life of an actual pimp and what people felt they had to do um, it's not it's not particularly you know I actually actually had to read a couple of chapters of another book that was quite, um, uh, I had to read a book about an imam uh, who was squeaky clean to actually make myself feel better because this was just, oof, this is quite tough going. But you may want to read it and I'm sure there are some people that have different ideas about this book. Probably think it has, I don't, it's difficult to say, does this book have value? I suppose it does have value. Um, but like I said, it's not the most, uh, uh, it's not exactly an uplifting book, other than you could say, well, at the end, he does change his life and he does, um, he does reform and, re and he does his best to redeem himself. Um, and there is, there is some sympathy for him that he, there is some sympathy for him so anyway this is it um pimp by iceberg slim the story of my life
hope you enjoyed that.